near the airport are speaking out against a possible expansion project. Christina Resnack talked with some people who don't want to see something like this happen and affect homes in the area. It is tragic that this happened, uh, but it would be more tragic if so many more flights were happen and then they start flying into homes. Wakulla County resident Jim Parham is worried for his and his neighbor's safety. This as the Wakulla County Airport is looking to expand, bringing air traffic closer to nearby neighborhoods. It was always intended for light use of light aircraft. Nothing greater than that. Residents who live nearby tell me they're worried about trees in the area like these that could be taken down because of the project and they want this area protected to better protect themselves. We have these trees all around our houses here that they say are obstructions to the airport. No, they're our protection from planes that might fly into our houses. What's happening in Wakulla County are proposed changes in order to make the airport safer. County Commissioner Howard Kessler says federal money would be used to add more taxiways for smaller planes. They will not expand runways for bigger planes. He says the project would keep the county from having to close the airport, which could hurt the local economy. Whatever changes happen there will not change the characteristics of the airport as far as the type of aircraft that will be coming in and landing. That really is an important point that needs, everyone needs to understand. But more air traffic is a possibility, something Parham doesn't want to see near his home. It just it doesn't make sense. In Wakulla County, Christina Resnack, WTXL ABC 27, dedicated to you.